Jerry's Studio Acrylic Mediums are your go-to everyday mediums that are going to give you an amazing quality, the highest quality that we can uh, have made, um, everyday use at a great price point, and they're made here in the United States. Uh, what I really like about the studio line of acrylic mediums is it's just simple. There's no fancy schmancy over the top uh, acrylic mediums. They're just very easy to use. So let me just show you some of the different ones. You've probably heard of them. Uh, gesso, for example. Uh, the gesso, this is a, a gesso that we've applied to board here. It's a bright white gesso, dries to a nice tooth uh, evenly. And uh, I'll show you the consistency in the body of that gesso here, just so you can kind of see. Yeah, put this in a place you can see. So this is a low viscosity gesso. So it covers uh, very nicely and it applies smoothly and you don't get those uh, lumps and peaks, it spreads flat, which is really nice. Uh, other things that you've probably heard of, gel medium. Uh, this is their gel medium gloss. And you use this gel medium uh, with your acrylic paints to make sure that you can uh, maintain the consistency of your paint. You also are going to be kind of diluting the paint a little bit in terms of spreading it out more. And uh, also it will still remain water fast, which is important because if you add water instead of it, it will start to break the paint film when it tries to dry. So I will go ahead and just mix some of these up together here using just part of that. Now this, these are gloss gel mediums, so they will increase the glossiness of your paints if they are not already. And I would say that, uh, you know, depending on the quality of the paint you use, um, you will see that the consistency and the color intensity will remain the same. And it's actually for a gel medium, I think pretty, uh, pretty good in terms of uh, structure quality. It's, it's, it's a little bit um, on the heavier gel for the gel medium, but then again, we do have a heavy gel medium, which is even heavier, which I wanna show you. So this is your, uh, your big guns, and you can just see just how high that can build. And I will mix in these colors together, just using a primary blue. And you can just see the peaks and the brush strokes, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the knife strokes that you can keep using these heavy gel mediums. They work well, they're simple, they're straightforward, and that's, again, what I just like about it. There's, there's, they're easy to understand, not a lot to, uh, not a lot to confuse you, and, and very um, accessible and a very good price point. Uh, in terms of mediums, I will show you the modeling paste, and modeling paste is a, a heavy body medium that um, you use to build structure. So this is going to be uh, opaque, um, the gel medium will dry transparent. This is going to have uh, marble dust in it to give it really heavy body. And I would feel like this jar is considerably heavier than the gel mediums. But just so you can see that, that modeling paste, so this is an acrylic emulsion with marble dust in it. Now you use this um, usually underneath your paints. You can mix paint in it, but it's just gonna kind of tint it and depending on the color you're using, probably come off with some kind of pastel shade. But uh, as you can see, super, super thick body, and it will maintain its peaks when it dries. Um, to, to use it more than just um, using a structured gel or gel medium, you can also carve into it if you so desire. So this is just a, um, this is just a, a carving block tool. But you can carve right into that because of that marble dust to do you know, whatever your, your heart desires or just use it to build high peaks. And then this is designed to be painted directly over as if it was gesso, more or less. Lastly, I will show you there are three different varnishes. They are all um, acrylic varnishes. We have, the, um, we have the gloss, the satin, and the matte. And I'll just kind of show you, we did these little demos. So this is the gloss. You can see that there's a, a sheen to that varnish and these varnishes are also medium so if you wanted to add them to your paint to kind of thin them out and not uh, keep the consistency to kind of lower the viscosity of the paint these can work interchangeably as a varnish applied to dry paint or mixed directly in with your paints to uh, achieve these effects 
Then we have the satin, which is kind of like a medium finish. You know, it, essentially it's, it's like half matte, half gloss satin. And then finally, our matte, where there is absolutely zero sheen, dries beautiful matte finish. So these are Jerry's Studio Acrylic Mediums, uh, a go-to everyday product that will hopefully be a staple in your studio because they are just a wonderful product at a wonderful price point. Highly recommend them. Thanks.